Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In this screencast, we'll be going over a rather simple concept, and that is what is in it, or intrusive JavaScript and non-intrusive JavaScript. Uh, so to give an example of intrusive JavaScript is, what if I come to this page and disable my JavaScript? Actually, let me go ahead and enable this real quick. Um, so if I go ahead and uh, click on this add, I think I gotta reload this page. So if I go ahead and click on add, um, I get a pop-up saying uh, it already exists in my cart. Um, so if I can go over here real quick and add one, uh, it has been added to my cart. Um, now as far as doing the same thing without JavaScript, let me go ahead and disable it. Uh, reloading this page. As you see, uh, nothing in here is already in. So if I add, I put in one and then click on add nothing happens. There's no submit button. There's nothing I can do to add this to my cart now. Uh, rendering this cart pretty much useless to anybody who doesn't have JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript is pretty common now, um, but because of you know how things are, people will eventually not have JavaScript enabled for security reasons or they might be on a mobile phone and so on. Um, so being able to create JavaScript to provide a rich experience yet not you know cripple your site uh, is always a hard thing to try to do uh, that's called non-intrusive JavaScript um, so the example here of non-intrusive JavaScript is something I've done with my little public calendar uh, when you do click on this without JavaScript you get a dedicated my event, my event page with the event details and rather if you want to edit, delete, or go back to the calendar. Um, so now if I go ahead and enable my JavaScript and reload this page, I can actually see what happens when I do have JavaScript. Um, so I get a CSS pop up with the very same information and edit or delete. Um, so it provides a richer experience uh, without having to go anywhere else on the page and you can quickly check between other events. Um, so now how to accomplish this, uh, it's pretty much trying to tell the browser not to do something when it's supposed to technically do it. Uh, so let me go ahead and inspect this element here to give an example. Um, we have the href tag which we are referencing, uh, the lala at 12 a.m. And as you can see there's an href which actually takes me to that uh, events page that we saw before. But now you see that there's an on click saying return false. Return false will tell the browser not to execute the link, uh, and that pretty much kills the browser from actually going to the next page. Uh, instead, I have another on link um, mapped over this, or on click mapped over this uh, called show event, and that brings up the CSS pop up with information and details. Um, so that's more or less what intrusive and uh, or intrusive and non intrusive. JavaScript is. Uh, there's many ways to handle this. Uh, the only problem is with this dealing and dealing with events, uh, not this way, is Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari. Well, many, pretty much Internet Explorer has a different way of handling uh, events and being able to cancel them. So just using your on clicks to on clicks on drag, on double click, uh, on focus, whatever you want an on event do within an element is pretty much cross platform or cross browser platform uh, but as far as messing with the actual DOM events that's completely different uh, since Internet Explorer handles that differently so I suggest uh, using libraries like MoodTools, uh, jQuery and whatever else you think fits your socks